The White Bear Area Chamber of Commerce and SCC TV are proud to present Your Business Matters, dedicated to your business needs. The White Bear Area Chamber is a nonprofit business organization serving as advocates to the White Bear Area and its business community. Now, here's the Executive Director of the White Bear Area Chamber and the host of Your Business Matters, Tom Snell. Welcome to Your Business Matters, brought to you by the White Bear Area Chamber of Commerce. Each month, we interview community leaders and local business owners so you can be informed about the developments in our community. I'm pleased to welcome Joe Emerson, the Mayor of White Bear Lake. Mayor Emerson and I will discuss the City of White Bear Lake's Climate Smart Initiative. Welcome to Your Business Matters, Mayor Emerson. Well, thank you so much for having me. Okay, great. The first qu question I have is, right off the bat, is what is a climate smart city? Well, uh, this, is a, this is a verbiage that came out of Germany. Okay. Because they started it in North Rhine-Westphalia, that state. So it, they came up with climate smart municipalities. Then when it was brought over to uh -huh. Minnesota, we kept the name. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's, it's something that came out of Germany. Right. And um, uh, why, do you think the, uh, why do you think it's a good idea for White Bear Lake to be involved in the Climate Smart uh, uh, initiative? And what will it do? I mean, what will it do? How will sure. it help the city? Well, I think it's, it's smart for us, even if you don't believe in climate change, et cetera. Right. I think it doesn't hurt. It's just like when we say when we did the water conservation. Mm -hmm. It can't hurt to save something. If, if you know, it, it's a good thing. And for us, I think going forward, it helps for us to have other communities to partner with and talk about things. You know, you can sit in your own little silo and think you're maybe doing it right, but it's helpful to have other communities mm -hmm. and other in, in both Germany and Minnesota working yep. on this. Yep. So I think for Minnesota, I mean, for us, I think it, it's a way for us to be smarter. How are we using our energy? Mm -hmm. let's, let's take a look at all our buildings and make sure that, we're get, you know, that they are energy efficient. Let's take a look at our lighting. Let's take a look at these things. And I think, I think from that standpoint, it can't hurt us to mm -hmm. save there, energy. Are there any things that the city in Germany is, are, is doing that could be a, a good opportunity for White Bear Lake uh, to uh, look at some of the various uh, conservation strategies that they have? Well, I think so. I mean, you know, Ludenscheid, our partner city, is 75,000 people, and it's 750 years old. So when people say you can't put solar oh, panels... 750 yeah. years old, okay. And when they say you can't put solar panels on old buildings, they're doing it. So uh -huh. it, it can be done. I mean, that's on a, I've heard that as an argument sometimes. And people also need to know, the Germans tell us Minnesota is the best place for solar and, and wind. We have the best climate for the for the yeah, both of those. Yeah. There's some so they're kind of envious. That have a lot of wind too. Yes, anyway, well, we won't go, to that no, we won't go anyway. there. But okay, all right. So, but I mean, I think, I think, um, just putting our heads together. Like I said, our partnership is new. We just started uh, yep. last June. They were here in June. We were there in September. So we've just been at it a year. But they have someone on their staff. Ludenscheid is the city of lights, and they have someone on there. Are they a lot larger than White Bear Lake? They're 75,000. Okay. Yeah, so, so I mean, if yeah. you look at this comprehensive area, they'd be about the same. Yeah, if you added around the lake, the right. whole area, yeah, 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 probably yeah, about okay. the same. And, you know, and they use their, their old buildings. Uh, you know, they have modern buildings. And, mm -hmm. and in Ludenscheid, for instance, the old and new come together mm -hmm. in this big square. But... Uh, they use their buildings, and they're they're retrofitting their buildings. They're doing things. Uh, I, for instance, there wasn't an older building I was in that they didn't have the dual flush toilets. They've already retrofitted all their buildings with things like that. I mean, mm -hmm. they're realize you know they realize how important this is. See, and I, I mean, in Germany, from um, uh, from what I understand about. Uh, about that country and these cities is that the uh, that 
there's a lot more of a partnership between government and the um, and the business community and the citizens of an area. And whereas in this country, it's basically driven maybe more from a bottom-up type mm -hmm. of approach to things. And do you think that that uh, because that's the way things are, are there still are there things that we can learn? from what this uh, uh, city in Germany are doing that could be easily or replicated in White Bear, some specific areas? Well, I, nothing is coming right to mind, but mm -hmm. because, uh, number one, the government, the structures of the governments are different. For right. instance, they just, when we were there in September, Ludenscheid, and it, it happened to be two of the people that are on this exchange program with us, they put their Climate Smart mm -hmm. program together and took it to their council, but they have a their funding is different over there, so they get twenty percent of the surplus back to use just on climate. Oh, and okay. they took and they took this to the the council while we were there. It is a fifty person city council, five zero. Oh. <laughs> so, so and it was unanimous. How can they get anything done? You well, and yeah, they have yeah. different parties, so then they have to form coalitions. Oh, even all, on the local level. Oh yes, so it's all it's all very interesting, and yeah. so. But I mean, I think um, one thing I did learn in Zauerbeck, which is one of the other cities, it's about seventy five hundred. Yep. And the, and you're you know you're sort of serving on the steering committee right. that we're having, and they said it was very crucial, the citizens drove the program. And I, that's what I'd like mm -hmm. to see here in White Bear Lake. I'd like to see our citizenry uh -huh. Um, uh -huh. take ownership yep. and, and, and do things. And at this point, I think we're looking, uh, as to set an example, I think the city is, we're going to look at our buildings and what we're doing. And meanwhile, gathering more information, because I would like people, you know yourself, you see, well, it's a carbon footprint or it's carbon neutral. Mm -hmm. Does anybody really know what that means? I mean, yeah, that's you know, a good point. And so I think it would be nice to have e simple English spoken here so that we know what all this terminology is and why it impacts mm -hmm. the climate, why, yeah. why, this, why this is important. Yeah. And then I would like to, you know, and, and the technology is changing so quickly. That's right. That, you know, solar and the panels and how the return on the investment, everything is, is accelerated. Yes. So I would like to get us, be kind of the conduit, the city be the conduit that has this information. That's a good idea. So one of the things that the city would look at is being a, maybe a conduit to show uh, where uh, uh, solar energy might be useful or ways that mm -hmm. the business community can save money by uh, by doing things to their buildings so that they're more energy efficient right. and save money. And then ultimately for people, because I, I talked to a gentleman that mm. I never thought about this, but he said, well, I, we put solar on, but he said it didn't work on our roof because of our yep. trees, but it worked on our garage. And I thought, well, I never wow. thought putting it on the garage, yeah. you know, because I always just thought, well, if it doesn't go on the roof, it doesn't work. Right. Well, it does. But that's something I had, not, you know, I no, mean, I these never... are the kind of things that that we just need to have, like, a central and let, clearing and, and house. And let the uh, community and then know let about people, it. You know, yep. and with the steering committee, like I said, you know, right now mm -hmm. we're doing uh, we're doing an energy audit or an audit of all our, of our city but municipal buildings. Mm -hmm. And train company, who was on the steering committee, right. they were in to talk about what they found at the sports center, you know, and saved us seven thousand dollars. Yeah. You know, so I mean, I think there's things out there. You know, I I, I you know, I'm not trying to foster a way of life or whatever, right. but but I mean. I think there are things out there that people can use that will benefit them, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be everything. But so with the yep. steering committee, you know, we're looking at coming up with some possible education is going to be one of the big components. Excellent. Yes. And and so we'll roll that out hopefully uh -huh. by the end of the year. Another, uh, if I recall, when the German delegation uh, was here in White Bear Lake, uh, one of the things that was brought up is that they have a number of of electric charging stations yes. for cars. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed in White Bear right now, there are just There's, a few of them. There just are. A, That's... Just a minuscule number. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if that might be one of the things that it's... could help drive uh, some of the climate issues because some more 
opportunities mm -hmm. there are for electric charging stations, some more people are going to look at electric cars as a viable alternative. It's definitely in our plan, yes. That's something mm -hmm. we're looking at and where we can position these and put them. And uh, so, yeah, that will that will continue to be important to yeah. us. Might be helpful for, like, the Economic Development Group to look at maybe having a couple of them in downtown White Bear. Yes, yeah. that, that could definitely. But yeah. I have to tell you about one thing they had in, in Ludenscheid down by the train station. Mm -hmm that they're testing. It was a trash can. Now, I know there's nothing glamorous about trash yeah, cans. No, but but yeah. it, was, it was solar powered. So it was just strictly for garbage. I mean, you know, trash. It wasn't recycling or anything yeah. else because they had those. But you, you put it in there and it automatically compacted it as soon as it went in. And then when the can was full, it, it sent a message to Public Works to come and empty it. That would be I a mean, really uh, interesting I, well, thing to do. Well, think about all uh, the things that it would solve. Yeah. The, you running back and forth to pick up garbage when it yeah. maybe doesn't need to be done. I mean, your public works people. Okay. But so they're testing it, and I just I think that would be a great issue for the chamber to endorse. Yeah, I thought it was an interesting. <laughs> I mean, I just thought it was an interesting idea, and so yeah. I'm curious to see now how they're, you know, because we, we talk to them mm -hmm. about, at least once a month, yeah. but sometimes often, you know, we, it's usually when it's 9 o'clock there, it's 4 o'clock, sure. or vice versa, when it's yep. 9 o'clock here, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know. They've got it all figured that's out. That's great. So. That's a great idea. Yeah, so. Another uh, issue that I heard last night listening to the, uh, the President's um, State of the Union is that uh, uh, the United States government, anyway, it looks like is going to get behind a international effort to plant a trillion trees okay. and uh, they're going to be looking for local communities to be involved in that and I'm wondering if that is something that maybe White Bear might look at is a uh, uh, set a specific goal over a period of years to plant uh, to have the citizens in the area and the, the mm -hmm. government to plant X number of trees. Well I can tell you we already do that. We're a tree mm -hmm. city we're a Tree City yep. USA member, and we've done this for many and, and years. And what does that mean? Well, we plant X number of trees a year uh -huh. uh, in our city, and we get a certificate every year from them. But, I mean, this has been going on probably 30 years uh -huh. that we've been doing this. And uh, so uh, we very much, and then on, on for Arbor Day, Day things, you'll see when we go out, we usually okay. go out to the city parks and plant additional trees, et cetera, in the parks. That's kind of what we do. Um, mm -hmm. for our Arbor Day activities. Yeah. And so uh, we've been doing it, but I, I certainly would encourage other cities to do it. I mean, it's it's just good. It's good for the air. It's good for people. Yeah, yeah. Trees trees are important. Yep, and they take carbon out yeah. of the air. So. And, they're, and, and they're pretty. Yes. <laughs> you, know, so you can have pretty, too. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, you mentioned that White Bear is part of the uh, Climate Smart mm -hmm. uh, City Initiative are there other cities in Minnesota that are part of this? And are they all connected with this mm -hmm. city in Germany? No, there are, six, there are six cities in Minnesota and six cities in Germany that oh, are, are okay. partnered. And this came about the year uh, I became president of the League of Minnesota Cities, and, we, and the conference was in Rochester. Okay. And Senator Senjum came up to me because he wanted to talk about this. Uh -huh. introduced me to Sabina Engel from the Institute on the Environment at the University. Mm -hmm. And then they started inviting uh, Ellen Heinecker and I to meetings to see about uh -huh. the program. And then they said, well, we're thinking of adding a, a sixth city. Would you be interested? And we want a metro city. And so oh. we said, yes, we would be interested. But, you know, yeah. so, it, so uh, the cities that are involved are Rochester and Duluth, Elk River, Morris, and Warren. Morris and Warren are up in the northwest uh -huh. part of the state. And uh, then they're, they're engaged. Now. I'm not going to remember all the cities in Germany. Yeah, the, the, I know okay. Morris and Sauerbeck are together. There's Sauerbeck and Munster. And, and there, so there's, there were the five, and then we became the sixth. Mm -hmm. city. And so this, this has been going on for three years. Are there ways for these uh, six cities to collaborate for best practices mm -hmm. in, how, uh, in how they're initiating the smart city programs? Yeah, we do. And we, we, we have a, a, we have a um, I don't know what you want to call it, a listserv where you, what's, what, what are you doing in your city this week? Mm -hmm. It's called Base Camp and we all chime in yep. what we're doing. And and then we are usually we usually have a fall dinner and a spring dinner, 
and then we over at the university and we mm -hmm. have university students that have gone overseas. Uh, the state of Minnesota has some departments, Department of sure. Administration stuff that are involved, which is very helpful to have mm -hmm. them. We have uh, partnerships with private companies okay. and they're involved and uh, it's just, it, it, there's a lot of information to be had and this, this base camp is, we're also hearing from the German cities. We're mm -hmm. all in this serve together. So we're hearing every week, what are you doing in your city? And everybody chimes in what they're doing in their city. Great. And yeah, I mean, the things that go on, uh, it's fascinating. I mean, the city of Saarbeck, Germany is 7,500. They have their own energy park with solar, wind, and bio. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. Energy park that yeah, does uh, that, for the that city. Okay. Literally, uh, they don't have to purchase energy. They make wow. it. Wow. Yeah. They sell energy now. Oh, my, well, that's uh, <laughs> And really this, including incredible. their factories. I mean, some of the factories uh -huh. we went to were fascinating over there. Uh -huh. that, um, things like uh, a parking lot for your employees. Put solar panels over the cars, and it, it's taking care of all the energy for the building, the, wow. man of the factory. I mean, it's, <sighs> it's interesting. The things they're doing are phenomenal. I yeah, mean, that is you really know. that is really amazing. Now, um, I think all this is really exciting. And what are uh, you we've got the steering committee? Are there right. other ways that people in White Bear can get uh, involved in working on these various uh, programs and well, the energy? I, I think it would be lovely to have a database of people that would like to help uh -huh. us. So if they if they want to send it to my email whatever, you know, just saying I'm interested in, maybe they have an aspect of something they're interested in. I think it'd be nice to have a database that we could go to and pull from when we want to have committees that want to do, that wanna certain do things. things. And, and the young people, this is the other piece that's really good. Yeah, because you brought up the schools a yeah. little bit earlier. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the uh, th area, what are some of the thoughts that you have about involving uh, White Bear High School and others in this effort? Well, I'll tell you the one thing. Last year they had a video contest and w White Bear jumped into it and the kids jumped in and did it. They won. They were first. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, and then uh, the Ludenscheid kids, I think, were second. So I, I presented them their certificates when we were there in September. They have a weather station on their high school. And we're hoping that the White Bear one will set up a weather station and these then the kids can We'll get out of the way. The adults can get out of the way and let the kids work on sure. the weather pattern. What are the weather patterns? That's uh -huh, what they kind of uh -huh. want to work on. So White Bear is very interested in it, mm -hmm. and Ludenscheid has already started it. So we're hopeful that that will become uh, a partnership yeah, between the two schools. Really, and and really there's other. I mean, this is only one one and, of many and things they could do. And I don't think any other of the local the schools that I've heard about are, are doing anything like that. No, and and I mean we have they have they I think they said they have a hundred years of his of weather history, and we obviously do too. Yep. So they're just going to look at you know is it changing? What's going on? That's a really an interesting yeah, which I think uh, concept is, and, that you can involve all different aspects of uh, education involved in, in uh, looking at that and driving conclusions. That's really, uh, really yeah, interesting. Yeah, there's, there's just endless possibilities, yeah. I think. And, and I think the other piece of it, of it is the relationships we build in another country I think will be valuable. We are a global economy. Right. We do have to think about, and that's the other piece with the, the climate stuff. The economics for business. So you've got I so mean, you'll be able to make connections and with this German oh. city that might be beneficial for some additional commercial opportunities in right. our uh, with the businesses in our area. Right, and, and well, plus the fact I think businesses have to. This should be right up your alley, and I'm sure you already know this. As as the climate stuff changes, mm -hmm. it's. The economy for a business to operate changes, That's so right. they need to be aware of what they can and can't do, and mm -hmm. and what's available. And um, for instance, we had a speaker in Germany. His name is Gerhard Reed, and he does energy a lot of his stuff. And he did he spoke to us in Dusseldorf, and uh, he talked about the fact that if one country gets all the 
materials and things for energy, like for solar yeah. panels, et cetera, they could dominate the industry. And yes. then that puts other countries at a disadvantage. That's right. And yep. so he talked about it from that standpoint. He talked about the companies 10, 15 years ago that were the big players, they're gone. Yeah. You know, and you don't realize, you know, until he started talking about, you know, you know what happened, yep. but you don't really put it all together. Mm -hmm. Now, if somebody uh, wants to find out more information about the White Bear Climate Smart Program, uh, do you have that on the White Bear you Lake do, website? We do. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm reasonably certain. Yes, it yeah, is, I think they okay. yeah. And you also mentioned that people could just uh, email you. Yeah, and if the, if somebody's interested in if there's a particular area they're interested in, I just would like to establish a database. So we've got people. If we need a committee to do something, uh, and the chamber that, will will make yeah. sure that we're part of a database. And well, yeah. And I just think, I mean, I think that's because I think this has to be citizen driven. Yes. It can't just be government doing it. I, mean, I think a gra grassroots effort is yeah, always that's, preferable. Yeah. So. And I, you know, and I'm not, you know, we're not trying to change anybody's mind or anything. But I think just anytime make the you city can, more livable. yeah. And yep. every time you can save something, yeah, it's just better. Yeah. Well, thank you, uh, Mayor Emerson, for uh, joining me today. Thank you, Tom. Thank you I so much. I enjoyed it. You've been watching Your Business Matters. For more information on this program or the White Bear Area Chamber, visit whitebearchamber.com or call 651-429-8593.